Hello everyone, this is Daryl Guberman once again. Um, I want to make a commentary about a Heads Up 22 that was for the OASIS database. That's the online aerospace repository where companies like Boeing and um, Lockheed go in to see if your organization is AS9100 certified by ANSI ANAP. That's the main character inside that whole database. It is run by the IAQG, the International Aerospace Quality Group. And um, in 2003, they were coming out with the rules and regulations. I want you to listen to this because I have the document. If you don't believe it, please contact me at Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L-T-Q-R-S, at yahoo.com. That's Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L-T-Q-R-S, at yahoo.com. Or you can call me at 203 556 one fourth nine three. Now this was put out in October of two thousand three. It's called Heads Up Twenty Two. It was put out by ANSI NAPRAP, and then ANSI became ANSI ASQ National Crediting Board ANAP, and then after two thousand eighteen they became ANSI ANAP. They took over the whole ball of wax. ANSI is not just a standard writer. They're also an accreditation body. They accredit the British Rate Retail Consortium for. Um, for Cargill Beef, as a matter of fact, you can look that up, and Cargill sits on ANSI's board, right over by the FDA. In 2018, if I remember correctly, they had 135,000 or 138,000 pounds of beef recalled. So let's go back to this. You have a factor that on, the old, on that heads up 22, it states 4.2 says a company whose AS9100 does not have the right to uh, refuse being put on the OASIS database, okay, which is run by the IAQG. The IAQG and ANSI ANAP, they're all incestuous together. You know, they change these, uh, these, these acronyms. It's like the IAF is, it always fails. And then uh, ILAC, their sister organization, the International Laboratory Accreditation Cooperation, is a laboratory accreditation credible. And it's not. We have the proof. So we go back to 4.2. As I said, you cannot refuse being put on the database for OASIS. And number 4.3 states this. Anyone who has AS9100 certified cannot refuse to pay database fees. This specification is not for quality, it's for money, okay? And most of the people that I've dealt with in my 13 years in business who are AS9100, who are at the clutches of Boeing, at the clutches of Lockheed, and by the way, after Lockheed Martin's 801st F-35, they're still producing junk, as I said in another video. It's absolutely horrendous. So what happens is this, is that you have this whole quagmire all it is is a money grab. And you have federal agencies on ANSI ANAP board. You have corporations like Huawei, a known hacker, sitting on that board. What are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? Quality is in the shitter. And as I told you, Boeing gave a uh, supplier auditing to a AS9100 certification. Send us your certificate, as long as it's ANSI ANAP accredited. Send it to us. Just send us your parts, and we don't have to come visit for 22 years. They also have heat treatments, special processes for PRI, who is the only organization that certifies to that bogus inspection, and I was involved with it. They couldn't tell me how to figure out a corrective action. In fact, AMS 2771 for heat treat, we were dealing with revision D. You're spending $5,000, this was years ago, $5,000 for a certification from NADCAP, PRI, and they couldn't tell you that you, there was a revisual, ch revisual change in the standard, you're paying that type of money. And they said, no, we can't do that. So the guy comes in and says, we're going to have to do a containment. There were 400 parts that were already flying around on the machine, already flying around on aircraft. Can you imagine that bullshit? And it is. NADCAP is bullshit. <laughs> and I get the proof. But Boeing, because Boeing was instrumental in doing that, so they could do cost-cutting initiatives so the CEO could get more money. I'm not making this up, ladies and gentlemen. I have all the documentation. Again, contact me. I don't make this up. I've been involved with quality for 40-plus years. I got approved by the ASQ, who owned at the time, 2013, who owned and who owned 50% of ANAP. ANSI, in 2013, owned 50%. Uh, Mr. Dave Levy, I gave a speech at the ASQ, and he said, we have no problem with you, Mr. Guberman. In fact, we support you. ANAP supports you. 
In 2016, a Randy Dory, who at one time was the chairman of the IF, the principal on the IF, and he was the uh, he was also the vice president of accreditation for ANAP. Okay, he invited us to join, but how would I join? Because the IAF in 2000. And 15 was handed over to a communist Chinese national where where Lockheed sits through the IQG membership. Can you imagine that? Unbelievable stuff. And I don't make this up, ladies and gentlemen. I want your ass to be safe when you go on those planes. And right now, I would debate that very seriously, honestly. If it's Boeing, you may not get going. 203-556-1493. And I thank you. This is Daryl Guberman. We give a shit about you. Maybe Boeing doesn't. I'm sure the actuaries already figured out possibly your deaths in that plane going down. They have to do some sort of statistical analysis after so many flights. Who knows? I'll talk to you soon.